Elmer was a monk at a place called Malmesbury Abbey in the southwest of England in the 11th century. The abbey followed the rule of Saint Benedict, prayer and work. Elmer joined the abbey when he was quite young. While he was there, he studied mathematics and astrology. Elmer often looked to the sky and was fascinated with what he saw and felt, the birds, the current of the wind. When Elmer was around five or six, it is believed that he saw Halley's Comet, and he remembered it for the rest of his life. He also loved Greek mythology, and he was particularly interested in the story of Daedalus. In the myth, Daedalus was a master craftsman, an inventor, and an architect who created a vast labyrinth at Crete that held a captive minotaur, a creature that had the body of a man and the head of a bull. Eventually, the king of Crete imprisoned Daedalus and his son Icarus in the labyrinth. And to escape, Daedalus created wings for both he and his son made of bird feathers, thread, and beeswax. These magnificent wings look just like those of a great bird. Daedalus warned his son specifically not to fly too close to the sun, else the beeswax would melt and the wings would break. Icarus didn't heed his father's warning, and he flew to the sun, falling from the sky deep into the sea, where he drowned. Elmer was fascinated by this idea of man being able to fly. If Daedalus could fashion something to make him fly, could Elmer? Around the year 1005 to 1010, which could possibly have made him around 25 years old, Elmer took his dreams and made them real. He made wings of his own and strapped them to his hands and his feet. He climbed up to the top of the tower of the abbey and jumped. Elmer flew. For 15 seconds, a total of 200 meters, before he fell, breaking both of his legs. Elmer was crippled for the rest of his life. But this accident didn't dissuade him. As the years passed, he began believing that if he would have added a tail with the wings he made, he would have been more stable. Modern aviation experts think he could have been right. Elmer's 15 seconds in the sky made him the first European to fly with control. He continued to look to the skies and dream. He wrote about astrology, and when he was possibly in his 80s, he saw Halley's Comet again. Elmer died in 1066, but his time in the sky became so well known that another monk who lived at the abbey wrote his story down for us, and people would continue to tell his story for centuries. <laughs>